Hey Triple Fivers, Andrew here. If you ask me, Andrew, what are the hardest working pair of shoes or boots that you've been wearing? I would have to say that in the last year, my choice was the Grandstone Bolchers. Yes, these dress shoes have been my hardest working shoes in my collection. I've worn them in all kinds of conditions. These are the blue Chromexa leather, and in this video, I'm going to give you a good close look at these shoes, let you know the things that I've enjoyed about them, some of the concerns that I have or things that you might want to be concerned about, and uh, let you know uh, why I think these shoes are such a high quality shoe, especially considering they are made in China. But I think that ultimately they are worth it because they are very stout. And uh, wait till you see these things on a scale, you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, let's take a look at these bolchers after a year of regular wear. Uh, you know, this is one of those things that either you'll love it or hate it about Chrome XL Leather is that it's gonna have a lot of texture and character built in. I have to admit these are definitely more of a gray than a blue, uh, almost a kind of a, a lighter shade of black. And, um, uh, I haven't done anything to these other than just uh, quickly go over them with a brush to get any dust off. To be fair to you so that you can see what these boots look like um, and like where there have been you know, some more permanent scuffs um, and some more permanent wear. I could get some of these things out of course with the full polish, but I thought you'd be maybe more interested in seeing what these actually look like with daily wear. Um, you know, I'm sure some guys are gonna roll in and say this is unacceptable. This is perfectly acceptable in a pair of bolchers, especially ones that I've worn as much as I have. Uh, with this uh, soft, uh, highly oiled leather, uh, you can expect some wrinkling here. And if you don't like the look, then you need to get a different style of, of shoe than bolchers because frankly, this is just about displaying the age characteristics that are inherent in this type of leather. Um, one thing that has impressed me significantly is uh, there really hasn't been any construction defects that have emerged after a uh, long wear. And so we'll take a look like, for example, on the inside of the shoe, um, on the inside of the shoe, there's just still a very high level of um, uh, quality all throughout. I have been really impressed with how well these boots have held up over time. They are stout, really stout. There are brass eyelets here. Uh, these, I believe, are the original laces. Um, all of the stitching is excellent. These are easily the nicest uh, Chinese uh, traditionally constructed pair of dress shoes or boots that I've handled. So keep in mind, these are, you know, quote unquote low tops. These are just dress shoes coming in at one pound, 14 ounces. That's just massively heavy. Here I have a pair of boots that I'm going to be reviewing soon. These are uh, the Merrill Wayfarers. These are seven inch boots <laughs> coming in at the same weight. So, I mean, the, the heftiness cannot be underestimated on these Grandstone boots. They are these Grandstone dress shoes. They are just uh, so sturdy, so sturdy in their midsole construction, uh, so sturdy in the um, thick leather that's used uh, along the whole um, outsole. Really nice, really above and beyond. I mean, crazy. When, when I say these are the hardest working shoes in my collection, uh, that's, by a considerable margin, as a matter of fact. These don't really wear like dress shoes, they wear like heritage boots. And um, that brings me to one thing that I don't like about these. Uh, even though these are definitely sized correctly for me, and uh, it is important that you figure out your sizing before you make a purchase because uh, I had to go a full size down with these. Um, the uh, opening hole for your foot. Uh, the main problem that I have is that in the heel counter, there's uh, not a lot of curvature here. And so what happens is, is this ends up um, sliding around a little bit. This is too large. This should be a little bit smaller 
and there should be a little bit more uh, structure in the heel counter so that you have a more locked in foot when you're uh, walking in these extremely heavy shoes. Uh, I think that that's my, my biggest negative is that uh, you don't exactly feel fleet footed when you're walking around in shoes this heavy already. And if you have a, a very large opening hole for your foot, then that is also a negative. All things considered though, I am very impressed with these Grandstones. Their long-term wear and break-in was arduous, but I have been so impressed with how they've held up uh, for a Chinese-made shoe. Again, I think the quality is exceptional. I think they definitely compare favorably to American-made dress shoes. I think that these are um, in some ways built more sturdily than the Allen Edmonds that I own. And um, I think that's by design with the uh, ultra-thick uh, midsole and outsole. Definitely has proven to be one of the benchmark pieces in my collection with heritage footwear. My apologies for not cleaning out the outsole. I just, you know, again, want to give you a real look at the bottom. As you can see, the outsole has held up excellently. Um, you know, I have some pronation issues, so there is a little bit of uneven wear in the heel, but um, really, um, uh, these are, are far from needing a resole at this point, and, and the stitching is all um, very solid. So, very impressed. Guys, what do you think of the Grandstone Bolchers? This style, of course, is one that is um, casual, yet uh, has a formal touch to it, so I've worn it up and down quite a bit. Uh, works great with a pair of khakis, uh, works great with a pair of jeans, uh, works great in uh, a lot of situations. If you're afraid of getting a pair of dress shoes or you think you're not gonna be wearing them a lot, I think you could wear these in practically any urban situation that you would be wearing boots and uh, they have some advantages. They're easier to put on. You don't have to lace them up every time. And they, um, of course, have a little bit more formal touch than your average pair of boots. So guys, let me know what you think of these Grand Stones. Do you guys have any experience with these? I'd love to hear from you if you have. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, please do leave me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel here, I'd love to have you hit subscribe. Uh, I've got regular footwear reviews plan for 2019 and i hope that you're going to enjoy that content please do hit subscribe so you can see more of it and as always thanks so much for watching